This morning, President Trump gaining new support in his long shot legal challenge to overturn the election. 106 Republicans in the U.S. House are now backing a lawsuit filed by Texas Attorney General Ken Paxton, which aims to throw out millions of votes. More than a dozen lawmakers on that list were reelected on the same ballot. Paxton's lawsuit submitted to the Supreme Court is riddled with inaccuracies and conspiracy theories, asking the court to invalidate the results in four states Trump lost, Georgia, Pennsylvania, Michigan, and Wisconsin. This morning, those states are asking the Supreme Court to reject the case, calling it a seditious abuse of the judicial process. Courts nationwide have rejected baseless election fraud claims from President Trump and his allies. But a new poll finds only 60% of voters view Joe Biden's victory as legitimate and only 23% of Republicans. But this morning, some Republicans are speaking out against Trump's efforts, including Texas Senator John Cornyn. I do not understand the legal theory. I don't want other states having a chance to change Texas law based on a similar effort. And Senator Mitt Romney saying this. Madness. It's just simply madness. In the meantime, Democrats accuse Paxton of filing the suit as a way of fishing for a pardon. Reports surfaced last month that Paxton is under federal criminal investigation. Seven of his top aides wrote this letter to Human Resources at the Texas Attorney General's office, claiming he used agency resources to do favors for a political donor. Paxton has denied any wrongdoing. Paxton was also indicted in 2016 for securities fraud. That case is still in the courts. What's unknown right now is if Paxton had direct conversations with President Trump about a potential pardon. He didn't respond.